Israeli military has beefed up border security following the killing of eight people and the sabotage of a gas pipeline inside Israel next to the frontier. Both attacks came through the Sinai Desert. This, together with the possibility of Egypt electing a government hostile to Israel, is causing a great deal of concern here. It will make our, our nightmares come true. We look upon Egypt and uh, we see, and as I uh, said, um, the possibility of an um, Islamic radicalism uh, leading Egypt into a, a kind of a Sharia state. The farming village of Kadesh Barnea was set up after the 1979 Egypt-Israel peace treaty. It is on the new front line of uncertainty, along the same road where Israelis were killed in the cross-border incident. If peace with Egypt evaporates, the village could be at further risk. For the worst possible scenario, of course that we are getting ready. We are getting trained for that and getting ready for anything that could possibly happen. But from the people who are living here is to live a quiet life along the border. Egypt was unable to prevent any of the attacks and there are questions about its ability to secure the border. The closure of Israel's embassy in Cairo in September following an attack by an angry mob underlines the threat and construction of a new wall along the Sinai is being speeded up. It was meant to keep out illegal immigrants, but has taken on a new significance. It's not just fears of attack from the Sinai that exist. In Israel, the fears are more widespread. They believe that as Egypt regains its prominence and its voice within the Middle East, then its views, its action and its government can influence the entire Arab world. Egypt sneezes goes the saying, and other Arab countries get a cold. Egypt was one of the few friends Israel had in the Middle East. Few believe that a relationship can continue if an organization such as the Muslim Brotherhood gets into power, but it may have to out of necessity. And with the rise of so-called Islamic groups in the region, Israel is preparing for a worst-case scenario. For a country that was used to handling dictatorship, Israel now finds itself having to deal with Arab democracy and its grassroots support, which is visibly anti-Israel. From the desert to the cities is a challenge that will shape the future of the Middle East. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Sinai.